A brother asked, is it allowed to eat the meat that's been stung, electrocuted? Elect they get a sheep or a cow and they electrocute it and then they sac sacrifice it. If it isn't, hasn't reached the situation where it's dead and they sacrifice it while the, the sheep or the cow is still alive, then the ulama, they say that it's, al it's allowed to eat that meat. Because the, uh, the prohibition, if it's dead, حُرِّمَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْمَيْتَةَ وَالدَّمَ وَلَحْمَ الْخِنْزِيرِ So the, the meita, the, the meat that is dead, that is what is not allowed. It's not permitted. But if it's still alive and they sacrifice it afterwards, it's still alive. And the second question was, if you go to somebody's house who's a Muslim, and they, you do ask about the meat. You don't, generally. Generally, if it's Muslim, alhamdulillah. Then the husn of dhan is there. The good opinion that, of course, he's a Muslim. You don't start prowling. Did you do this? Did you do that? We accept that he's a Muslim, alhamdulillah. And the good opinion that we have over him is that, it is that he's presented me with meat that is halal.